and forever. This is our God, who took thought for and established his beloved inheritance, the Holy Church, setting her foundation in paradise, comforting with his true word our forefathers, who fell through disobedience. This is our God, who, directing us to his promise of salvation, left himself not without witness, but foretold the coming salvation, first through the forefathers and prophets, and by many images gave a lively description of it. This is our God, who by the prophets of old often spoke to the fathers, and in these latter days spoke to us by his Son, by whom time was created, who declared the good will of the Father towards us, disclosed the mysteries of heaven, confirmed the truth of the gospel through the power of the Holy Spirit, sent his apostles through the whole world to preach the gospel of the kingdom, and confirmed it by various powers and miracles. Following this saving revelation and holding this gospel, I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not made of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, who rose again on the third day
Son of God and also the Holy Spirit are not one in essence and of equal honor with the Father, and confess that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are not one God. Anathema! 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 To those who foolishly say that the coming of the Son of God into the world in the flesh and his voluntary passion, death, and resurrection were not necessary for our salvation and the cleansing of sins. Anathema! 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 To those who reject the grace of redemption preached by the gospel as the only means of our justification before God. Anathema! Anathema! Anathema. Anathema, anathema, anathema. To those who do not believe that the Holy Spirit inspired the prophets and apostles, and by them taught us the true way of to eternal salvation, and confirmed us by miracles, and now dwells in the hearts of all true and faithful Christians, and teaches them in all truth. Anathema. Anathema, anathema, anathema. To those who reject the immortality of the soul, the end of time, the future judgment and eternal reward for virtue and condemnation for sin. Anathema. 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 Anathema, anathema, anathema. To those who reject the counsels of the Holy Fathers and keep their traditions, which are agreeable to divine revelation and kept piously by the Orthodox Catholic Church. Anathema. anathema, anathema. Church receives as revelations of God's work and of those pleasing to Him, to inspire their beholders with piety and to arouse them to follow these examples, and to those who say that they are idols, anathema. anathema, anathema, anathema. But to all who have fought for orthodoxy by their words by their writings, by their teaching, by their sufferings and religious life, as, it, as its defenders and allies, the Church of Christ annually commemorates and proclaims. To the Holy Fathers, great hierarchs and teachers of the Church, Athanasius and Cyril, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, John Chrysostom, and all the other pastors of the Church, Memory eternal. Memory eternal. To the most holy emperor Constantine, equal to the apostles, to his mother Helena, to the orthodox emperors Theodosius the Great, Theodosius the Younger, Michael and his holy mother Theodora, and all other Orthodox emperors and empresses, princes and princesses, memory eternal. Memory eternal. To all Orthodox patriarchs, metropolitans, archbishops, and bishops, memory eternal. Christians deceased in the true faith and piety, and in hope of the resurrection, 